This is not my first trip to England technically, but it's the first time I've come to England with the explicit purpose of looking at ancient megalithic sites. And I'm finding them absolutely fascinating and I'm finding a lot of similarities between these sites and other megalithic sites I've been looking at around the world. For instance, the uh, barrows that we're seeing in England they look very similar to things I've seen even on Easter Island, a half a world away. And I wonder why are these, why are there these similarities? Some people might say it's coincidental, you build with stone, there's only so many ways to build with stone. But I think it's more than that. In some cases, they seem like they're being built very similar, with very similar techniques on a similar scale, with small openings and I have to really wonder, could there be a functional reason? Could there be uh, uh, reasons that they're building this way because this works? Maybe, you know, protect themselves. You know, something I'm very interested in is solar outbursts. It would provide protection from solar outbursts. But could there also be knowledge passed around? We have something like Stonehenge or the other stone circles that we've been looking at. And what do we have in Turkey, at Gebekli Tepe, we have stone circles. Uh, again, very similar on one level. On a different level, the ones in Turkey are very long, th narrow, thin, tall. You know, so there's a different style there. Um, but there's still stone, stone circles. There are also similarities. The ones in Turkey are carved with relief reliefs on them of animals and symbols. Stonehenge or a lot of these seem to be either very, in comparison, relatively crudely worked stones or not worked at all where they were just picking natural stones that suited their purposes and erecting them. So in a way those are almost stylistic differences from one part of the world to another but Overall, I see this commonality, this similarity, which is absolutely amazing.